Today I want to talk to you about ketosis. Now a lot of you have heard of keto and a lot of bad things have been thrown out about keto. But in fact, if you are mentally and physically prepared to do ketosis, it's actually a really effective tool to help you lose weight. But if you are a super carb dependent person, meaning like you, you love your Starbucks, you always have to have some type of treat, then this plan is probably not gonna work for you. But for some of you, it might actually work short term, maybe even long term, to help you lose that stubborn weight or stubborn belly fat. So let's start off with what is ketosis? Now ketosis is basically your body utilizing your fat stores as fuel because they don't have really any carbohydrate stores. Carbohydrates, your body wants to utilize them very quickly and they want to use them as energy and we know what happens if we eat too many carbs is that it'll go into storage, whatever we don't use, and then the rest of it will get stored as fat. Now, when you get into a state of ketosis, your body digs deep because it still needs to expand, like it needs to burn energy, it needs to burn calories for your daily living, for your workouts. And so when you get into a state of ketosis, it forces your body to utilize whatever stored body fat you have as fuel. So how long does it generally take for somebody to kick into keto? Now, somebody that's already doing a low carb meal plan, so low carb could just be dependent upon your day, okay? Now when I say low carbs, that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but generally speaking for ketosis, you wanna be 50 grams or less. So you have to know how to track macros, that's a whole different video, but you wanna be about 50 grams or less uh, carbohydrates, and when you're doing that, that's when your body will start to utilize the fat as fuel. And so generally for that individual that's already kind of low carb, maybe low carb, higher protein, and higher fats, then it should only take about two to three days for it to kick in. Now, how do you know if you're actually getting into ketosis? So let's say it's day three and you're wondering, am I in ketosis? So there's, there's a couple signs that you're gonna be able to tell. So number one is you're gonna have short-term fatigue, right? If you did have carbs in you, Again, carbs are an easy fuel source. So if anybody ever goes into a diabetic coma, we're not gonna give them fats, right? We're gonna give them high glycemic, high insulin spiking carbohydrates so that it gives them a burst of energy. So you're gonna have the opposite effect is where you're actually gonna feel fatigued. You might feel a little bit lethargic. Your energy for your workouts is gonna decrease just because the energy source is being transitioned. Okay. And uh, there's a thing called keto breath. So keto breath is after, once you get into keto, uh, you're going to have like this fruity taste and it's actually going to have like a metallic taste and it's almost going to smell like nail polish remover. Okay. You're not, you're not going to like, people aren't going to know it's not going to be like terrible, but you're going to taste it. It's going to be like a metallic taste. And so that's how you know that your body is starting to get into ketosis. Now this, you don't want this breath and it's not going to last forever. Okay. It's only going to last maybe a couple days, three, four days at max, and then you're going to go back to normal. But what should you expect long term on doing keto? Well, number one is you're going to be, your body fat percentage should drop right? Number two, if you do this right and your, your calories are right, your macros are right, you're going to notice that you're going to lose weight. You're going to actually have more mental focus and clarity and you're going to get more energy. Now, when I went into keto, the one thing that I did notice that I was always warm, right? So my internal body temperature, it felt like somebody hit the dial a little bit up. Like let's say somebody lit a fire in the room, right? Like a small fire in the corner. Eventually you're going to feel that gradual heat. So that's kind of how I felt when I was uh, kicked into keto. Now, what are the macros? So for anybody that's doing the tracking, the macros that you wanna set is anywhere from 50 to 60% fats. True keto is actually higher, but I've had a hard time trying to get people to, to eat 70, 80% fats. Like it's just so little volume of food. And so, you know, 50 to 60% of your macros is where I want you to be and uh, that's a fat. Now when it comes to protein, anywhere from 20 to 30% and then your carbohydrates is gonna be pretty low. So anywhere from like five to 10, maybe up to 15%, but really not much more than that. As long as we're keeping it under 50 grams of carbohydrates, then we're golden. And so when you're punching your foods in, generally when you're working with me, you're gonna punch your protein in first, right? You're gonna punch your protein in first, but I want you to actually start with punching your fats in. Okay, you're gonna be punching your fats in and then you're gonna see what you have left over to fill in the rest of your calories, to fill in the rest of your macros. So 
You would start your day with maybe like some eggs, right? Uh, some turkey bacon, maybe even just bacon, avocados, right? You gotta do some research on this. I'm not gonna write this meal plan for you, but I want you to do some research and just find high fatty foods, right? And start your day with that, get the majority of your calories through that, and then you're gonna see like even almonds have carbohydrates in them. So you're gonna wanna punch in your food first, get, your, get, your, get as close to your calories as possible, keeping them all high fatty foods, see what you have left over with protein, then see what you have left over with carbohydrates. But you're not gonna intentfully put in carbohydrates into your diet. But you may be asking, well, what carbohydrates can I eat? Because I still want you to be healthy, okay? And what I want you to be healthy with is vegetables, right? Vegetables help break down your food, it provides fiber, it provides bulk to your food, uh, it helps you know pass things through your body. You want your body to metabolize the foods that you're eating fairly quickly. So you wanna stick with nutritious, green vegetables ideally. So you, the, the options that you have are low glycemic foods such as asparagus, broccoli, cabbage, mushrooms, cucumbers, eggplants, cauliflower, spinach, and kale. Those are my top ones for keto. And so just incorporate those into your, into your food. So start with your fats, incorporate your vegetables, then see what you have left over for, for, for carbohydrate or for protein then fats are at the very end. You're gonna find that you're not gonna be intentfully adding carbohydrates because carbohydrates are in everything. And so we wanna keep our carbs under 50 grams and that's your keto plan.